Well, hi there, everybody. You're traveling with me, Jack, and of course, as always, with my beautiful, heavenly wife, Pam. And if yes, indeed, we are a traveling again. Take a look. That's right. The old Highlander is once again hooked up and ready with another 6x12 U-Haul trailer. First of all, though, to the over 2,000 of you that do subscribe to our channel, thank you for subscribing. To the over 25,000, though, who've looked at the U-Haul video that I did previously, please hit the subscribe button as well. In the meantime, we want to talk a little bit more about our experience with the 6x12 U-Haul trailer. This is our second time around. The first video did so well, though, I wanted to add a few pointers and help you out a little bit more. First of all, we're towing with a 2005 Highlander. It's got over 200,000 miles on it, but I have maintained it from day one very, very well. Pulling capacity is just great with the 6x12 trailer. You just want to make sure that your chains are always connected well, the lights and things like that. Now, the big question comes up. How much can you get in the 6x12 U-Haul trailer? Last time, well, I gave you some ideas. This time, though, we're going to be just a little bit more detailed. First and foremost, you have got to be organized. Have you ever looked at somebody that's not organized? I did on the day I was moving. It looked like a disaster movie in the making. For me, though, here's the key. And my beautiful bride, Pam, she was a great organizer. So first of all, I've talked about it before. Try and get as many of the same size boxes as well. Don't use the old leftover crunched up boxes you've got in your apartment or your house and kind of piece them together. It's just going to cause issues. So in this case, with this trailer, what I was able to get inside was I had about 15 medium size boxes and those will hold a lot of stuff. Then I had about 12 to 15 of the small boxes. Now again, I bought my boxes at Lowe's where they were pretty inexpensive. You can buy them at several places, but price them out. I think I ended up spending about $50 total in those boxes. Now also, you don't have to waste your money on the dish packs. Just get some good packing paper and wrap up the dishes. You'll be just fine. Now I'm going to tell you something that's going to be your friend and also help you organizationally, so to speak. That is the plastic stretch wrap. You want to get some of that. I wrapped all my area rugs with that. My goodness, just like they were still in the store, made them so easy to get in the trailer and they're not flopping all over the place. So do remember that as well. Speaking of boxes, you remember your big screen televisions when you bought your flat screens? You remember how you were tempted to throw away the boxes? My sweet Pam always said, hang on to them. And we did. Wow, what a time saver that is. When you have your TV boxes, they go right back in. They're well protected and very easy then to load into your trailer or your truck. Of course, and this goes without saying, they'll tell you about this at the U-Haul place, but do follow the advice. You want to load your heavy items first towards the front. In my case, all those boxes, well, they packed a lot of weight, put those right up in the front, and oh, they just go in so beautifully. Now, eventually, it's going to be a little bit like a jigsaw puzzle, but trust me, you'll be able to do it. Oh, I should have also mentioned, be sure and utilize the vehicle that you're using to tow your trailer. That's if you're using a trailer. In my case, I did all of our artwork, wrapped it up, and put it in the back end of the car, along with any other little uh, art pieces, things like that, memorabilia, stuff that I just really, really want to make sure it's taken care of, not going to be jostled around in the trailer and such. I put that in the back of the car. I also was able to put in the railings from our bed frame, which coincidentally, I also wrapped with that plastic wrap, shrink wrap, so to speak, and that made that much more easier as well. So let's get into the inventory list of exactly what was I able to put in my 6x12 trailer. Well, I had a couple of what you might call those mid-century modern chairs. Beautiful chairs. I want to take care of those. Wrapped them up really, really good. Yes, it will fit a queen-size mattress and box spring. I was able to get that in there as well. I also had this rather large and heavy sofa table from the living room that I put in. And I also had this lengthwise, what you might call an ottoman. Yeah, it was an ottoman, you know, that you can keep things in, but it's almost as long as a couch, and it's pretty heavy, too. I was able to get that in there. I had a small little... I don't know, a little table such that came from the bedroom. And uh, then I had all my boxes. I also had a desk. And then I also had an office chair as well. So all this goes in. All the vital items, the things that I certainly don't want to leave behind go in first. Then all the knickknack stuff, well, you've packed so beautifully because you were organized, you're going to have a lot of room left usually. And that's where I then kind of put in the stuff like the brooms, the mops, the trash cans, the cleaners, 
things like that and guess what in the end absolutely everything fit in this 6x12 trailer this was basically the contents of a one bedroom apartment but again my advice is be organized get organized ahead of time clean out throw away things and they get those same size boxes box everything up seal them up really good and then begin the loading process and trust me it's going to be a stress-free move because you've made your life so much easier you've just been able to everything just fits so beautifully so do i recommend the u-haul 6x12 trailer once again i do gas mileage people have asked me about that on the 2005 highlander normally on the highway i get about 21 miles to the gallon when i'm towing this big bad boy here well i get about 12 to 13 miles to the gallon so that's about it i hope i've helped you once again on your movie experience again keep subscribing to our channel traveling with jack and pam i also invite you to check out my podcast love letters to pam the jack church show until we do see you that next time, have a great day. Better yet, make it a better tomorrow and enjoy that move.